Hey guys, this is Mike Sorg for Boss Battle, insert coin to begin.com. We're going to talk about some uh, app sales on the iOS game store. Sorry, Android people. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. But uh, especially some games that we've uh, uh, featured here in the past and some other great, you know, kind of low stuff maybe you haven't heard about. Uh, and of course, even if you check this out later in this post sale, definitely games worth checking out. Uh, this is a, and please check out our friends at uh, boldpittsburgh.com slash on broadway.com for supporting all the shows here at Sorgatron Media. Media. So, according to toucharcade.com, uh, we have a, a smattering of sales, as uh, we, we often do from time to time. Some good, like, kind of indie, smaller stuff. Uh, one, Alto's Adventure. Even if you're getting this later, I think it's like three bucks for this. You know, something without a lot of uh, in-game ads or anything like that. It's a snowboarding game, but it's so much cooler than that. It's so soothing with the music and the endless and the, and the, and the graphics. And, and I just highly, highly recommend this thing, and especially today, for 99 cents. And there's a great bunch of, uh, it looks like very similar vein, stylistic sorts of games. And I'm, I'm really appreciating this kind of look from it. I, I, I like on my phone to play something, you know, completely different. Uh, Bean Dreams, Breath of Light, relaxing a relaxing puzzler. Let's see what that's about. Uh, Fontonica, which is very, uh, if you liked Mirror Edge, Mirror's Edge, or simply enjoy Endless Runners that actually try to provide a different experience, you should give it a try. Uh, this game framed I, there's another trailer they included in this article, and uh, it's, uh, geez, it, it's got that flat design, and there's a lot of animation to it. Uh, it say it looks like a detective comic book uh, with wonderful silhouetted art in vibrant colors, according to Touch Arcade. You rearrange the screen panels to change the outcome of each encounter. I'm buying this as soon as I'm done here. Um, I don't know, Shadowmatic looks like a fun little... Uh, uh, it was a game of the week back in January for these guys over here. Uh, as uh, you manipulate abstract objects and attempt to make their shadows on the wall create a known object. Oh, th th like these different outside of the box games. And I think that's what's really cool right now uh, with iOS, with a lot of these. That we, people are really getting into the style of things. And I'm really, really, really digging it. So please go check them out. We got the article linked over here. Insert coin to bingit.com or in the uh, notes to this video or audio, wherever you may be consuming us. And uh, we really appreciate checking us out. Please subscribe to Mini Boss from Sorgatron Media. It is uh, now on Stitcher and iTunes. Please subscribe to us on those formats. Even if you're not on, say, iTunes, iTunes is a really big one, and just a subscription will help other people discover the show if you're digging what you're uh, catching here. And check out everything else going on. Riz Plays, uh, uh, Internet Things from Around the Net, Boss Battle, and so much more. Insert coin to begin.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.